Fujifilm has made quite a resurgence when it comes to its premium point-and-shoot models. Used prices have skyrocketed, and I'm going to do my best to explain why that has happened, and why these cameras have so much appeal. We're going to be talking about this particular camera, the Fujifilm X20. First things first, let's talk about aesthetics. The Fujifilm X20 is a beauty to behold. With its retro-inspired design, this camera pays homage to the classic film cameras that many of us grew up with. The metal body not only exudes durability, but it also gives a premium feel. Crafted with precision from magnesium alloy for its top and base plates, complemented with meticulously milled aluminum dials, the X20 emerges as a camera of exquisite finish. The controls are tactile and well-placed, providing a satisfying click with every adjustment. It also weighs in at 12.5 ounces. So it's got some appealing presence, but it's not so heavy as to actually impact shooting performance. The X20's mechanical zoom ring doubles as its power on-off switch, which is an unusual and quirky touch. Nestled conveniently for operation by your right thumb, the upper rear dial proves perfectly positioned, and it allows seamless transitioning between adjusting shutter speed and aperture in manual exposure settings. The tiny little flash unit pops up out of the top plate. It's non-motorized, so it won't auto-activate when the camera is in auto modes. There's also a hot shoe on top of the camera that would also allow you to use the optional Fujifilm EF X20 or EF42 flash for additional coverage. And can we talk about the viewfinder? It's not just any viewfinder, it's an optical viewfinder with a digital overlay. This was the first digital camera to have this feature. It's a game changer. It offers a seamless blend of old school charm and modern technology. It's like having the best of both worlds at your fingertips. And on a sunny day, it's incredibly useful for when the LCD is washed out. Now, let's get to the heart of any camera, the image quality. The Fujifilm X20 has a 12 megapixel, 2 thirds inch X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor. What does that mean for you? Well, it means crisp, vibrant, and noise-free images, even in low light conditions. The X20's image processor ensures that your shots are not only high resolution, but also beautifully processed with Fujifilm's signature color science. So going back to the sensor, it's a two-thirds inch sensor. Most of the other point-and-shoot digital cameras on the market today are either going to be one over two-thirds inch or one over 1.7 inch, like the Canon G15 or Nikon P7700. I really love the background blur that this Fujifilm X20 is able to create because it's such a fast lens. With a 28 to 112 millimeter equivalent angle of view and f2 to 2.8 maximum aperture, which is operated by a mechanically coupled zoom ring that also retracts the lens. I really love that feature. Yes, you can shoot raw with this camera and edit post-production to your heart's content. The X20 also does have video capability, but that takes a back seat to its crisp and accurate photo reproduction. The manual controls give you the freedom to experiment and grow your skills, while the intuitive automatic modes ensure that you can confidently shoot in any situation. Whether you're into street photography, landscapes, or capturing the everyday moments of life, the Fujifilm X20 is up for the challenge. It's a compact companion that doesn't compromise on performance. Now we're outside on this lovely overcast day, and we're going to take some pictures with the Fujifilm X20, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So what I found is that it really reproduces color very, very naturally. And what you see with a lot of cameras uh, is that the, the color saturation is, is very poor, but the Fujifilm X20 reproduces it uh, accurately, and uh, for that I thank it. And now we're gonna take a look at some of the very best pictures that I've taken with this camera, this exact camera over the last year and a half. What I really like, as we were talking about before, is that bokeh or soft background effect it comes through a lot in those pictures. In conclusion, the Fujifilm X20 isn't just a camera, it's an experience. It's a feeling you get when you hold it in your hands, the joy of seeing your vision come to life through its lens. So if you're on the hunt for a camera that marries style, substance, and a whole lot of fun, the X20 might be your perfect match. Lastly, you might be asking, where can you find this camera? It's available internationally on eBay, MPB, and KEH, and depending upon condition, generally is around $450 to $550 at the time of filming. Thanks for watching. And regardless of what camera you use, get out there, have some fun, and create some memories.